here's a sarcopenia fact that will make you sit up straight and pay attention. Did you know that over 60% of people are unaware that losing muscle mass isn't just about weakening your body, but it also affects your brain health? Yeah, that's right. Your biceps and your brain are more connected than you first thought. And did you also know that just losing 10% of your muscle mass can lead to cognitive decline? Studies show that maintaining muscle strength is key to keeping your brain sharp as you age. I'm Simon H, Muscle After 50 Coach. And in today's video, I'm going to take a quick but deep dive into the relationship between muscle loss and brain health. Sarcopenia, a condition where we lose muscle mass and strength as we age, is often overlooked but its implications go far beyond just physical health. As we age, our brains are also affected, making it a critical aspect of our overall well-being. When we think about aging, we often focus on wrinkles, gray hair, and declining physical abilities. But the reality is that sarcopenia is a significant threat to both our physical and our mental well-being. According to the International Osteoporosis Foundation, Sarcopenia affects approximately 10 to 20% of adults over 65. But these numbers are expected to rise as the global population ages. Now, this is a worrying stat. In the United States alone, it's estimated by 2025 that over 48 million people will be affected by sarcopenia. That statistic is absolutely alarming. So it's essential that we understand the threat that sarcopenia poses, not only to our physical health, but also to our mental health. As we age, our muscle mass naturally declines, but this process can be accelerated even further by factors such as a sedentary lifestyle, malnutrition, and chronic diseases such as diabetes and heart disease. Sarcopenia can lead to a decrease in mobility, osteoporosis, and an increase of falls, which can be devastating for older adults. Moreover, it can also affect our mental well-being, causing depression, anxiety, and social isolation. You see, sarcopenia can be a vicious circle where you lose muscle loss, and that decreased muscle loss leads to decreased mobility, which in turn accelerates more muscle loss. This decline in physical function can have far-reaching consequences, affecting not only our physical health, but also our mental well-being. It's a complex issue that requires a comprehensive approach to address the root causes. You see, when we think about the connection between muscle loss and cognitive decline, it's easy to assume that the relationship is indirect. That is, muscle loss leads to decreased physical activity, which in turn affects our mental abilities. However, the science suggests that the relationship is more complex and multifaceted. Studies have shown that muscle tissue secretes proteins called myokines, which play a crucial role in regulating information, metabolism, and even brain function. As muscle mass declines, the production of these myokines also decrease, having a direct impact on our brain health. One study published in the Journal of American Medical Association found that older adults with sarcopenia were more likely to experience cognitive decline and even dementia compared to those without sarcopenia. These findings have a significant implication on our understanding of brain health, and how it relates to our cognitive function. And it's clear that maintaining muscle mass is crucial, not only for our physical health, but also for our, our brain health. By preserving our muscle mass, we may also be able to protect our brains from decline and even promote cognitive function. Now, with all that gloom, there's some good news. Sarcopenia isn't inevitable. In actual fact, it's never too late to take action. and. If you do a little bit of resistance training, it has been shown to be effective in preserving and even building muscle. By incorporating a little bit in your daily or your weekly routine, we can mitigate the effects of sarcopenia and promote better brain health. So thank you for joining me on this journey 
to explore the connection between muscle loss and brain health. If you like this video, please do us a favor and press that like button, share the good news with everybody you know, and please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And most of all, please look after yourself. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments or you can click through to my website and speak to me directly. Peace.